So you thought that NVIDIA only had a problem with connectors failing. This is the same connector, but it's used on an AMD product, the RX 9070 XT. And as you can clearly see here, well, we have melting going on. Let's jump into this. If you enjoy content like this, you can throw me a thanks because it is completely free by doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. This is the infamous 16-pin connector. The 16-pin 12VH PWR connector that you will find on, for example, 5090, 5080 video cards from NVIDIA. However, this AMD RX 9070 XT has this connector and, well, it's melted. The card in question here is the ASRock Tai Chi OC RX 9070 XT. And I am not sure if this is happening to anyone who has bought this card or maybe this is just an isolated case. But it's not a good look. And I'm not really sure why ASRock would use this connector on a 9070 XT video card. And the main reason why I say that is the majority of people, you know, the people who are in the know, know that the 16-pin connector, especially, like I said, on the NVIDIA 50 series cards, or the majority of them anyway, have problems. So if you were looking for a 9070 XT video card and you didn't read the specs or it wasn't listed or you missed it, well, would you buy it? Of course, if you were informed. If you weren't, well, you wouldn't know the difference. Now, to be fair, is this a user problem? Maybe they were possibly using an adapter and either the end that goes into the video card wasn't properly seated or maybe one of the eight pin connectors, they weren't seated properly. This is the thing when you're building a computer system or even if you buy a pre-built, check all of the connections. Check all the cards, check the memory, check to make sure everything is seated in properly because if it's not, well, you're going to get things like this happen if, in fact, that is what happened. It is also mentioned here in this article that it could be a power supply issue. This video card, the RX 9070 XT, well, requires a decent power supply. The minimum is 750 watts. And this apparently is the power supply, the unit that was used. Typically, though, you know, if you get melting like this and the power supply is the recommended one you get, unless it's a fault with the power supply, who knows? And by the way, always, always get a decent power supply. Don't skimp on your power supply. I know it's difficult these days because a lot of decent, like Seasonic power supplies if you want 1,000 or 1,200 watts or 1,500 watts, they're hard to find. They're very, very hard to find. But yeah, it could be user error connecting the cable. It could be the adapter itself. It could be the power supply. Who knows? And what are your thoughts?